Everybody thought the star of the 2024 Europa League final would be Xabi Alonso, Florian Vietz or the Nigerian striker Victor Boniface, but it ended up being a different Nigerian who stole the show and made history, Adamola Lukman. After that crazy game, everyone's been talking about Atalanta's latest hero, but do you really know him? Well, these are 10 things you didn't know about Adamola Lukman. Sorry Lukman, but number 7 is embarrassing. Firstly, Adamola Lukman is a history maker. In the Europa League final against Bayer Leverkusen, he scored a beautiful hat-trick, which made him the first ever player to score three goals in a single-legged Europa League or UEFA Cup final. Former Bayern boss Jupp Heynck scored a hat-trick for Munch and Gladbach in the 1975 UEFA Cup final, but back then the final was played over two legs. But since the format was changed to a one-legged final, only Lukman has managed to score three in the final of the competition. But guess what? That's not the only record he broke with that hat trick. Keep watching to find out more. But for now, let's throw things back a little. Did you know that Lukman was rejected a lot when he was a kid? When he was trying to make a name for himself as a player in England, he got rejected by many different academies. It got so bad that when he was 16, he was still playing Sunday League. For context, Lamine Yamal is 16 and has already made more than 50 top flight appearances for Barcelona. Anyway, that didn't deter Lukman. He kept going until he got signed by Charlton. He quickly rose through the ranks there and the year he turned 20, Everton signed him and that was where his career really took off. Now, while you might feel sorry for him for getting rejected, Lukman actually did a lot of rejecting as well. You see, Adamola Lukman was born in England to Nigerian parents, which meant that he could represent any of those two countries on the international stage. He made his choice pretty early though, he wanted to represent England. So he started playing for them from the under-19s and started rising. He was even a part of the England team that won the FIFA Under-20 World Cup in 2017, the country's first World Cup at any level since 1966. The following year, the president of the Nigeria Football Federation met with Lukman and tried to convince him to represent Nigeria instead. Lukman said no. At this time, he was playing for RB Leipzig and believed he could do enough to earn a spot in the England first team. In fact, Southgate did speak to him and convinced him that he had plans for him. Meanwhile, Nigeria had reached out to him a second time in the same year and he rejected them once again. In September 2018, the Nigeria Football Federation reached out to Lukman for a third time and he still said no, holding out for that England call-up. But that wasn't even the end of the drama. In 2020, the NFF announced that Lukman had switched allegiances and would now represent Nigeria internationally. But guess what? Lukman came out to debunk that by saying that he had not yet changed his mind on wanting to represent England. Damn! Anyway, after rejecting his parents' country multiple times, Lukman eventually gave in and gave up on waiting for England and switched allegiances to Nigeria in 2022. He followed them to the 2023 AFCON, which was played in 2024 and scored three goals to help him get to their first final in 11 years. And well, since he now officially identifies as a Nigerian player, it leads us to the fourth fact about him. Adamola Lukman is the third Nigerian player to score in a major European final after Alex Iwobi, who scored for Arsenal in 2019, and Joe Aribo, who scored for Rangers in 2022, both in the Europa League final. But Lukman is the first ever African footballer to score multiple goals in the final of a major European tournament. No other African has ever scored a brace in a major European final, much less a hat-trick. That is a superb achievement. Now, the fifth thing you never knew about Adamola Lukman is that he never scored a hat-trick in his professional career until that Europa League final. Incredible, isn't it? Do you know what it means to score your first ever hat-trick in the major final? That's some next-level boss move. But guess what? All of this would never have been if not for a decision he made back in 2018. So, remember we told you that Everton signed him in 2017, yeah? Well, things didn't exactly go well for him there, so he was forced to go out on loan. Everton had already agreed that he'd be sent out on loan to Derby County, who were playing in the Championship, the second tier of English football. Everything was set for him to make the move, but Lukman insisted that he didn't want to go. He had played in the lower divisions of English football and didn't want to go back down there. Because of his insistence, the club was forced to look for another option and that was how he got loaned out to RB Leipzig instead. Definitely an upgrade. 
After his loan spell, Leipzig signed him permanently in 2019. He would later make a return to the Premier League though, going on loan to Fulham and Leicester City. But he remained a Leipzig player until Atalanta came and signed him for 15 million euros in 2022. And well, two years later, he has shown massive returns on that investment by winning Atalanta their first ever European trophy and only the second trophy in the entire history of the club. Now, all of this is great, but look, if you're watching, look away now, because like we said at the beginning, number seven is going to be really embarrassing. Did you know that Adamola Lookman once cost his team a very valuable point in a relegation battle with one of the worst penalties ever? During his loan spell at Fulham in 2020, Lookman was presented with a golden opportunity to score an equaliser for his club in the 98th minute of the London derby against West Ham. What did Lookman do? He went for a panenka and made a total mess of it. That single move cost Fulham the game and it was huge because they were battling relegation at the time and the point from that match would have given them some hope. Well, although we can't say it was totally his fault, the club did get relegated that season. Surely Lookman never wants to remember that moment again, but you know what he definitely does want to remember? The hat-trick against Leverkusen, so let's get back to that. That treble meant that he was the first player to ever score a senior hat-trick against a team coached by Xabi Alonso. It also made him the first player to score a hat-trick for an Italian side since 1969, when Pierino Prati scored three for Milan in the final of the European Cup against Ajax. Now, away from the pitch, did you know that Lukman is no ordinary man in Nigeria? After he helped the Super Eagles reach the AFCON final in 2024, he was named a member of the Order of the Niger, one of the two highest orders of merit that can be bestowed on a non-governmental civilian in Nigeria. So he's definitely a VIP in his home country. Finally, Lukman doesn't only have a high IQ on the pitch, he also has one off it. He attended St. Thomas the Apostle College in London and got three A stars and five A's in his GCSEs. So if football didn't work out for him, he surely would still have been great. Anyway, now that you know more about Lukman, his life and his career, do you think he should be named the African Player of the Year? Does he even deserve a shout for the Ballon d'Or? Will a big club come and snatch him up in the summer? What do you think? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.